streamers. Today we're going to show you uh, one of the reasons why you guys might have some problems or difficulties whenever you try to look up for certain apps or channel on your Roku devices and you're not able to install them. Uh, it has to do mainly with the geolocation of your Roku account. And as you can see we're showing you here four tabs of Roku. But please, before we start, don't forget to subscribe to uh, be always up to date with all of our comments and videos. Okay, uh, Roku has uh, restrictions based on the country of origin. Right now we are in Panama, so as you can see, if you go scroll all the way down to the Roku page, you will notice that there's a lot of options to choose for your country or region. And that's very important when you're creating your Roku account, because that is what defines what content you will have access to. For instance, there are certain apps that are only for Latin America, but for the U.S., you have more English content and a lot of more channels because the Roku was originally developed for the U.S. market. So as you can see, you will find Disney Plus and other apps that you will not be able to find on other Roku regions such as Mexico, for instance, which we are showing you right here. Uh, you will find Blim and DirecTV, which are unique to the Mexican market, also TV Azteca and Multimedia. But it all depends on which country you are. And this is very important because a lot of people complain when we make our videos that they cannot see what we are actually showing and when they try to look for it, they cannot install it. For example, this is uh, Roku from the UK. It has mostly uh, content from the United Kingdom. So as you can see, uh, the content of the library and the app store and the Roku devices varies depending on where you set up your account and how you create it. Sometimes they will immediately identify where you are. So for instance, when we started making videos about the Roku, we had to change our region to the US and we used a DNS in order to simulate that we were in the United States. And that's how we actually created our account. And still today, we have it that way. So we do have access to more English content and also a lot of content from the US. We haven't set it up for the Latin American country yet because there's not as much content as available. So we pretty much decided to stay or stick with the U.S. Uh, account set, set up. But if we wanted to, we can just create a new account and uh, remove the association of our Roku device to the U.S. account and then set it up to the Latin America account. But it's a little bit complicated, so I prefer to stick with the U.S. It all depends on where you are in the world. If you want more of the U.S. content, you need the DNS or VPN that we strongly recommend in all of our videos. You can get it on the cards on this video and also on the links in the description. So just take that into account. Uh, you can also replicate or simulate with a VPN other countries. So if you want something from the UK but you're living in the US, you can still do it using a VPN and a DNS. Chances are, because Roku uh, has certain restrictions, if you have content that verifies the IP, maybe the DNS will not be enough. So do remember that. It doesn't always work. Uh, it happens sometimes. So you will need a router that allows you to install a VPN. But it's a little bit more complicated. As long as you create the account, chances are that you will have at least access to 70% of the content because some channels do uh, verify your IP address and the DNS does not hide it. It does allow you to create an account as if you were in that country, but it doesn't hide your IP. So remember that it's very important. If you want to learn how to do so, uh, check out our website, which is blimport.com. Right now it's having some issues. We're hoping to fix it, but I still wanted to make the video to explain to you guys. You can change the region or the configuration settings for your country. Uh, just looking at this website, we have an entire area that calls Roku Fire TV. There's a lot of steps and pretty much a complete guide on how to uh, change the location of your uh, Roku device. It's in Spanish, but you can use the Google Translate and you will still find it in English. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it there. We will be more than happy to reply to you guys and help you. Again, uh, please do not make any nonsense comments. A lot of people started talking about uh, that we are cheating and that we are showing uh, the content from other where other other places around the world but uh, that we are simulating stuff and that they cannot access it and that we have been uh, dishonest we are not as we said uh, 
we chose to use a U.S. account and we created and replicated such thanks to the DNS. But if you're in Latin America and you don't have a DNS, you will not have the same content. It happens the same if you are in France or in the UK. If you have a Roku account there and you're watching our videos, most of our videos are based on the US account. So yes, you will not find the same apps. And if you want to install them and you look for them in the channel store, you will not find them. So it's not that we are cheating. It's just that, remember, Roku has different regional settings. So you do have to remember that. It's very important. A lot of people think that we're doing some wizardry or uh, I don't know, <coughs> magic, but it's not. It's just common sense. We explained that in another video about how to change your regions on your Roku devices. So yes, content varies by country, remember that. But you can still bypass it using the DNS that we strongly recommend. So there's no need to freak out and start making nonsense accusations on our videos because it gets really annoying and sometimes a lot of people will listen to that because it's not just one but like 10 people commenting the same stuff. If you need to understand how Roku works, check out our videos. We do have a lot of information about it and we always make it clear. Roku restricts content based on your location. It's not the same as with the Amazon Fire but they do enforce that a lot and that's why we have both devices. On the beginning, they never, in the beginning, I'm sorry, they never enforced it that much, but people started to uh, find ways to clone the uh, apps and started to promote IPTVs and they started to restrict it because Roku started to make agreements with other producers. So, yes, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay at home, stay safe. Any comments and suggestions, always welcome. Goodbye.